What's up, Madden 25 gamers? In today's beginner tip of the week, we're going to focus on how to read the defense in Madden 25. I feel like one of the most important tips uh, for you guys starting out is learning to read defensive coverages uh, with your play call screen. So, in practice mode, we can... Um, this is how you get better at the game, guys. you got to go to practice mode and start working on you know, different reads, different techniques, different uh, passing trajectories, and all sorts of different things, and working on your plays and your reads. And uh, today we're focused on our reads, uh, reading the defensive coverages, and then we're going to start out uh, pretty simple. We're going to read uh, how to read uh, generic defenses, whether it be cover four, cover three, cover two, cover one, um, cover two sync, all those coverages. Uh, we're going to tell you how to read the defense and what you want to look for. And um, we're also going to come back, if you guys come back for our advanced tip of the week, that's what we're going to talk a little bit about how to read the defense uh, on an advanced level when you're when you're playing an opponent who is really using a really good disguised defense. We're going to talk about how you can maybe get a read on what he's doing. All right, let's hop into the cover four here, show you how to read it. We're actually using the Denver Broncos on offense. Um they're playing the Colts right now. I'm watching the game as I'm as I'm doing this commentary. So, uh, pretty pretty sweet uh, pretty sweet Sunday night for me. Uh, anyways, let's hop into this dice slot, and we're just gonna come out and the play wide receiver drag. One of my favorite plays. Okay, so cover four. Uh, basically, the the main point here, and I'm gonna highlight them with my uh, controller here, is four deeps. Uh, as they have four deeps, so they have one deep. It's Toller. Landry's the other deep. And Bethea is the fourth or the third deep, and then they have Davis, which is the fourth deep. This tells us it's a it's a four deep coverage. Um, so basically, four deep coverages can be one of two things. It could be cover four, or it could be um, some people some some teams uh, run like a, a nine velcro type of play, where because in cover four you have purple zones. You see here the purple zones are called a flat zones. But in nine Velcro, you those uh, purple zones will become flat zones. So it's it's one of those two uh, ideas. So so basically, cover four means four deep. And you know one of the main passing concepts a lot of people like to use are four verticals, where literally they just send everybody deep here. So four guys going deep vertically would attack. And if you think about it, if they're in a cover three or a cover two, that theory would be good because you're sending four guys to flood uh, a three man zone. And the same thing with uh, cover two. You're sending four guys to flood a two-man zone. But when people call cover four, this is where this four verticals concept doesn't work as good because of the fact that the four you're having four guys flood four defenders, which isn't a good numbers game for you. So what I like to do against when I read a cover four is I like to set up some hot routes here. And remember our hot route tutorial. Check out all of our beginner of the tip series. I'm going to start trying to figure out how I can make some playlists for you and uh, get a little more organized on the channel so you can easily access all the information. But anyways, starting out here, if I read cover four, one of the things I really like to do in Madden 25 is what's called, uh, it's actually called a levels concept. Uh, it's not its not the levels play that we always talk about when we're running sim tips and stuff like that, but it's its more or less a, a concept that we can use to beat coverages like cover four uh, in, in deep coverages like this. So what I like to do is I'll send um, my tight end on a streak, and I'll put my... Uh, right receiver here, uh, Wes Walker, on a drag underneath. And the theory that I'm trying to get to happen is I'm trying to take – Thomas is going to flood the, the, the defense deep. It's going to pull the zones. It's going to stretch them out. And my goal is to hit Welker underneath. So here you'll see um, he floods them out, and you see Welker's going to come right underneath uh, for an easy catch for an easy quick gain of five yards. And that's the basics of how you would beat a cover two. You would try – or a cover four, excuse me. You would try to attack the underneath patterns. Now let's just say, for example, I'm actually going to make nine Velcro here. So, 9 Velcro looks something like this. And this is what 9 Velcro typically looks like. And, you know, they have a little bit of underneath coverage. Well, what I like to do then is you'll see um, I'll set up maybe like an out route. Um, whoops, I did not mean to do that. I'll set up like an out route on the left because out routes beat the beat the underneath zones so like underneath zones such as like cover threes and, and, that, and that stuff that's what out routes and curl flat concepts beat so I'll set the same thing up just to the other side now so we have our cover four beater on the right side and we have our cover three beater on the left side and here they give us a, a flat zone out of a cover four so we can easily hit that out route so that's the basics of reading the, the, the cover four how do you read a cover three? Well, cover three uh, is it, it could be one of two things. It's three deep. Someone audible to it here. Cover three, you're going to see um, three deep, meaning, um, remember, meaning one 
in Toller, two in Landry, and three in Davis. So that means that there's three guys deep, and typically will be f uh, followed by four or maybe five guys underneath coverage. So if you do the math, you have three deep, four under. Where are they weak? They're weak. They're weaker in the deeper areas of the field. So this would be a situation where you would maybe trust the four verticals. Um, what I like to do against cover three is attack the outside uh, because they don't have as many people to put uh, to the outside. So what I'll do here, uh, something like this, is I'll just put maybe a curl route to Thomas, a streak route to Decker, just in case it could be cover four, and then leave that same route combination on the right side. And now you're going to see easily able to beat that cover three coverage with the Mary Thomas. Now what some people will do is some people will put buzz zones instead of those flat zones because those flat zones will press. So they'll still be in a cover three. It's just they'll, they'll be a little deeper version of cover three. It's more of an inverted version. Well, this is once again where the uh, cover four beating concept comes in. Um, set the same play up here and now you'll see we could throw it deep vertically and, and maybe get a user catch but for some reason it's, it's, it's very difficult to do that this year because a lot of people abused that last year so um, what we need to do is grab uh, kind of live on that underneath concept so um, that's why it's always good to have something that beats cover four because it, now we're now this basically cover three is almost like a cover three version of cover four. And what I mean by that is because it stretches itself, so th the zones will stretch themselves deep, and then we'll just be able to hit Welker underneath. That time Welker just got lost, but uh, I mean you see the idea. Now cover three is also the same look as cover one, so if I can grab or cover zero. Um, so here we'll grab into uh, Overstorm Brave, and you see this is uh, actually a cover zero pressure blitz. And so what we see this time is we see four deep, just like a cover four. And, and, and here we're going to look at the same kind of combination of stuff that we were doing earlier, where we have a cover three beater on the left and a cover four beater on the right and a blitz beater in the backfield with Marino. So our hot read, we see pressure. Our hot read is Mer No Sean Marino on that, that wheel route, and we can easily hit that. Another hot read I like to have uh, in this game, and we actually already have it on this play, um, is a drag route. Uh, hot, a drag route is a very good hot read. Um, basically, just pass lead it to, uh, to the inside, and they get really, they're, they're just something to, to mix in, um, especially if you're if you're maybe missing your, your reads and, you know, you're, you're having trouble reading. This uh, drag will be cover three, uh, will, will be uh, cover four, cover three, and uh, cover uh, zero blitzes. So here, pressure blitz, but if we need to go to our other hot read, we always have that running back as well. So that's how you would read a cover zero. A cover zero looks exactly like a cover four, which is why both of those uh, plays, uh, what is open is the underneath stuff because they're backed off coverage. You're attacking their alignment, not necessarily their play call. Okay? Now let's read cover two. So cover two is probably one of the most common defenses in the game, and it looks exactly like two man under. So two man under here, you see you have two deep, two deep safeties, and then everybody else is underneath. So this insinuates whether they may have a man op a man option or a um, or a zone option. We recognize that hey, there's going to be two guys deep no matter what. So what I like to do against um, man under or two uh, or cover two is flood the flood flood it vertically. So um, let me grab a play here. We'll just grab this verticals play out of this gun trips over. And um, basically, we're just trying to flood the cover too deep. So the idea here is we'll put Marino on a wheel route motion him out just because that, that's a vertical route. It's going to go upfield. So now we have four verticals, and we see here we can hit this RB route. Maybe try to use or catch it or something. But if they're in man coverage, what I recommend doing, and like you said, um, you know, it looks exactly like cover two zone. So how do you beat man and zone from the same look? Well, you have a man beating vertical route, and that in this season game is the comeback route, which can be hot routed by using our tutorial and uh, I think it was episode one of Beginner Tips how to hot route. Um, the comeback route will beat man coverage. So here we're going to stay in two men under. And now this deep post won't be open. But you see this comeback route with a pass lead down uh, will be wide open against man coverage. And then if they are in zone, so say they go to their cover two. Okay, well, we go to their cover two. We set up the same, uh, same route combination here. And now you see that our deep post with a pass lead up is going to split those safeties in cover two. So now we're beating, we're beating both coverages with the same route combination. Alright, 
So that's the basics of how to read defensive coverage and how to apply it to your play call and your selection uh, accordingly. So I hope that this tip helped you. Be sure, if those of you who aren't beginners, you kind of understand this tip, if you will progress to the next tip, we're going to talk about reading um, user defenses. And what I mean by that is people who make adjustments, people who uh, they try to make their defense look exactly the same every time. We're going to talk about some subtle tells and some subtle ways to read the defense that I don't think a lot of people ever focus on. I think it's something very important that we start focusing on uh, if we're going to have better offenses in Madden 25. So thanks for watching today, guys. And uh, be sure to stay tuned for that advanced tip. I'm really excited about it. And if you're new to this channel and you enjoy this video, uh, please subscribe to this YouTube channel. We try to put out a video uh, every three or four hours a day. Uh, try to get as much content out to you as possible to reach the most amount of you as possible. So once again, guys, I just greatly appreciate the opportunity to share uh, Madden 25 with you every day. And be sure to uh, use these tips. And also, make sure you're here for this next tip. I'm really going to enjoy uh, I think you guys are really going to enjoy it. Uh, thanks for watching today, and we'll see you later.